Okay, last one here is about cattle color, and uh, we did this several examples ago, but to refresh your memory, there are two alleles for the color in cattle, and they are HW, which produces white hair, HR, which produces red hair, and, sorry, those are the only two alleles. There are three genotypes that can come out of that. You can have HW, HW, which gives you a white animal. You can have, I'll get to that one in a minute, HR, HR, which gives you a red animal. And you can have HW, HR, which gives you a color they call Rowan, which they describe as pinkish. It's really, it's like the red, only just not as saturated. So I guess that's why they have the word Rowan, because they didn't think pink was a good fit. So there's the basic information about the colors. And now they say a Rowan cow. So the ox mom is WR, heterozygous, is crossed with ox dad, who is HWHW. What happens? Well, a Punnett graph can tell us the answer, and I avoided saying Punnett square. Do you see why? This mother could pass on either HW or HR. Her egg will contain just one of those, either the HW or the HR, but the sperm cells from dad are guaranteed to contain HW. It's all he has. All of his offspring will get HW from him. You could write a second column and put another HW in it, but that's pointless. It's going to be a copy of the first one, so save yourself a little time and ink by just doing one. And so the offspring could be either, here it'll be HW, HW, and this one will be HWHR. In this case, we get a white and in this case we get a WR is Rowan. So genotypes and phenotypes, you could say it's 50% HWHW to 50% HWHR or for phenotypes you can say 50% white to 50% Rowan or if you don't feel like doing percentages you can just say the ratio the phenotype ratio is one white to one Rowan.